There's this huge pile of snow in front of my house, but it's five degrees and it's melting, so I'm happy. Hi, ah, like everybody, and welcome to CD's Brick Adventures number two. Yes, this is going to become a thing now on my channel. The amount of feedback I got on the last video, the first one I did was fantastic, and I'd like to thank you guys for that. So yeah, CD's Brick Adventures is now going to become a new thing on my channel. So yeah, I'm really excited because I've got a lot of cool plans in the future for this series. So there's a lot to look forward for that. Um, so yeah, today my plan is to go out and buy some Lego, obviously. And um, what I'm planning on getting, if, you, if you've seen last, uh, the last, well the first CD's Brick Adventures video, uh, I wanted to get specifically Ray's Speeder, the Star Wars set. I also want to get Ray's Speeder. Now that I've seen the new Star Wars movie, which was amazing by the way, uh, I just really, really want to get that set. But that ended out being kind of a failure. So what I'll be getting today is one Lego set, but I'm not exactly sure which one. I'm hesitating between two Star Wars sets, which do not include Ray's Speeder this time, and uh, one Marvel set. So I'm thinking of getting either uh, they're all new 2016 sets, so I'm either the pod, the LEGO Star Wars pod with R2-D2 and C-3PO, the freezing chamber from the fifth movie or with Han Solo, or Iron Skull Submarine, I don't, I think that's how it's called, I don't remember exactly, but basically this, uh, the uh, Red Skull Submarine with Captain America in it, I think that's an absolutely cool set. So we'll see what they have in stores today, and see which one I end up getting, and I also want to get Simple Plan's new album, that's my favorite music group, and I'm super excited because they finally brought out their new album, and it sounds amazing, so I can't wait to finally get my hands on the physical copy. So, let's get right ahead and start the day you know I've always wondered how when I watched other YouTube videos how youtubers did to film like this while holding the camera and driving well I realized it's because they don't have this <laughs> a gear shift obviously that makes a big difference Alright, so we have finally arrived, and it's time to go inside. It's so windy! Well, compared to last time, we were ditzing around before we're getting, but we're getting right to the point right now, going right into Toys R Us. We walk right into the Lego section, right in front of the door. All right, so they seem to have a great amount of stock and they've got the new Series 15 minifigures. That is great. And they've got a whole bunch of the new Lego Star Wars. Alright, so this is great. They've got the pod right here. They actually have one or two of Ray's speeder. So they seem to have the pod, but not the freezing chamber set. They do have the submarine right here. So the only one they don't seem to have is the freezing chamber. Alright, so Toys R Us had the pod and the submarine, but they did not have the freezing chamber. So I'm going to go ahead and look at another store and see what they have in stock. don't have much <laughs> I 
Alright, so obviously that store didn't have practically any Lego, so it's pretty clear that my solution is Toys R Us. Now, the only dilemma I have is do I buy the submarine or the pod? It's a pretty tough decision. I'm not sure yet which one, uh, but right now, let's just keep on exploring. Alright, so something really cool about this mall is that it's got an entire indoor amusement park inside the mall. Check this out. It's actually got roller coaster. It go, it's got a roller coaster that goes all around the mall right there as you can see. Well, all around the amusement park, not exactly the entire mall. So let me show you a bit around here. Today is actually a pretty calm day because it's Monday at 10 o'clock, so there aren't many people, obviously. And as you can see, there's obviously a big ice rink in the middle right here. So this is very cool for an inside mall. I mean, you don't really see this. And this is actually a pretty big uh, amusement park. It used to be, I think, the biggest indoor amusement park in Eastern Canada. So that was pretty cool. All right, so I got my ticket. Time to go on the ride going on the ferris wheel here we go Woo! <laughs> this is great they actually have windows at the top right here as you can see you can see the entire city This is great. This is really great. I got this special promotion where for $25 I got 30 points. To give you an idea, every ride is about uh, two to four points. And I got a $10 gift card to any store in the mall. So that was part of the promotion and it was worth about, the whole total is worth $35, but I got it for $25. So I basically got $10 free. So what I'm going to do is use that money on the submarine. A Marvel set. That is the set I'm going to be getting finally. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's my decision. I kind of really wanted the freezing chamber, but they don't have it anywhere it seems. Um, and since the submarine is ten dollars more, it's forty dollars, and the Star Wars sets are thirty. I'm going to use that gift card to buy that set for thirty dollars instead of forty. So that's really going to make it worth it. Uh, this ride is great. It's awesome. I mean, it's pretty cool that they have this inside a mall. It's kind of like a one-of-a-kind thing. Man, that was a lot of fun. Now, you're probably wondering why I was in a ride and now I'm just <laughs> sitting on this couch. <laughs> but I just got off the ride. Uh, it's just a few ways back there. I just uh, came to set. I just wanted to go on the Ferris wheel show you guys. That was lots of fun. Uh, so, I'm feeling pretty hungry. It's time to go and eat and afterwards we'll go and buy this set and we will be done here. Would you look at this now? This is some fancy subway right here in a glass and on a plate. Wow. 
and we're back. We're going to the Lego. All right, so there are no interesting poly bags, so I'm not going to be getting one, obviously, today. But I think I'll be grabbing one of those new minifigures and the submarine. Picking just a random one for fun. <laughs> awesome all right i'm all set time to go pay for this all right so we are done i just got out of toys r us just to recap right here so i got my stuff purchased obviously um so right here i got the iron skull sub attack uh, so that's the official name right there for this set so really cool and i also got one of the new series 15 minifigures uh, so very nice. So with that gift card I got with that promotion for the rides like I like I explained before uh, This actually cost me $40 instead of 50. So that is pretty pretty cool So I basically got that uh, Minifigure packet for free and the taxes and I got a little rebate on the the set so that is very cool so now what I'm going to be doing is going over to a store uh, it's kind of a book slash music store uh, it's called Archambault yeah I'm going to go over and buy Simple Plan's new album now like I explained before Simple Plan is my favorite band they do punk rock mainly and I literally like they have literally been part of my entire life like as long as I've been listening to music I've pretty much been listening to them and they're just an amazing band and I I just love them I've been listening to the music since their their second album still not getting any that came out in 2004 I believe uh, and they finally dropped their fifth new album uh, about two weeks ago so I'm really excited to be getting it and I'm not sure it depends what they have at the store but I might be also getting some of their previous albums because uh, I actually have all their music digitally and I would like to have their al their a physical copy of their albums. Uh, the last album I bought physically too, uh, but I'm missing the the previous ones because I only have them digitally. And I don't know about you guys, but this is kind of a personal opinion. But I always like to have uh, my digital content on a physical disc, like whether it's game, video games, or music. Uh, like for video games, a lot of people like to have it digital, but I really like to have the, the case, like the disc, and like know that I have it. And I kind of want to do the same thing with uh, Simple Plan, especially since they're such absolute favorite band. You know, I've been listening to them for actually over, way over 10 years actually. So yeah, they are really important to me. So I'm gonna quit the talking and get over there so it, this is this store is literally across the street from this mall so it's super convenient so let's go all right so here we are we got there in absolutely no time Right, here we are all right so I wasn't in there for too long and I bought my albums and yes plural because finally I and I did end up buying multiple simple plan albums um because uh, like I explained uh, I only had the digital versions of their music and I wanted the physical copies so I got their brand new album right here taking one for the team I am super hyped on this one so very cool and I also got their uh, album just before the basically the second last album they've made get your heart on right here and I got their third album simply called simple plan uh, so very excited on this like I said uh, for these two albums and all the previous albums too I've listened to their music probably millions of times like I've all heard it this is simply to have the physical value to them I just feel like since it's just such I have so much love for this band I just need to have these you know 
So very excited, taking one for the team. Uh, here's the bag view, <laughs> just kind of shows uh, a bit the ridiculousness, just grabbing uh, the ass right there, just a little ridiculous. But there's just such funny guys and just an overall amazing band. So I highly recommend you go check them out. Uh, so taking one for the team, if you go and check out their YouTube channel, they actually posted all of their their entire album is posted on their channel basically so i really recommend you go check this band out if you don't know them great music punk rock just absolutely awesome so that's pretty much all the buying i need to do today let's go back home so good Alright, so I'm back home and this was a very successful adventure, much better than the last one because the last time they didn't have the Lego set I wanted and I got caught by security and uh, if you want to go check out that episode, there'll be a link at the end of this video uh, or you can click the card, it'll appear at some point. Um, but this time I got the Lego, one of the Lego sets I wanted, uh, and I also got one of the new minifigures. We got to go on some big Ferris wheel together, and we, I even got some of my Simple Plan albums I wanted to get. So very successful adventure. <laughs> so just to do a little recap, I got once again the Marvel, man I can't get this title right man, <laughs> Iron Skull Sub-Attack. This is the Iron Skull Sub-Attack right here. <laughs> so great set, I've been really wanting to get it, it looks awesome with the submarine and Captain America and Iron Man, just a great set. I also got the new, one of the new Series 15 minifigure, uh, I'll soon be posting a video on what it is because even I don't know yet what it is, naturally. <laughs> Even though, even if sometimes you obsess by feeling the packets to try and guess which one it is, sometimes you're wrong. So, I don't know yet if it's the one I think it is. And finally, I got three of the Simple Plan albums. Two uh, that have already come out and the new one that, that came out. I think it was February 18th that it came out, but very recently the new album came out. So, great music. You heard a little clip probably while I was coming home just great music so I hope you guys enjoyed this video this was lots of fun again bringing you guys with me i hope you enjoyed this little adventure together uh like i said this is going to become a a little series on here uh like i said in the last one i don't necessarily go out to shop for lego too often so this isn't going to be videos that are going to be posted too often but when i do go out i'll be sure to bring you guys with me all right so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe because it helps me a lot and even comment so i can hear what you guys think uh, i really want to communicate with you guys and know what you think all right so i'll see you in the next video thank you all for watching goodbye